Hi, brothers and sisters. Okay, so I wanted to come on here and uh, share with you a dream that I had last night and a uh, revelation that the Lord has given me through this dream. Um, okay, so the first scene that was in the dream was um, I was, I don't quite know where I was. It was basically kind of like a, a, a locker room and a shower kind of combined, but separately. It's very hard to explain. <laughs> but okay, but the locker room, it didn't have any benches, no lockers, no nothing like that. But, um, you know, it was the locker room and then you go back a little bit further and then there was the shower room. Okay, so in this locker room slash shower room, I had to take a shower. Now, all, the whole floor in there was flooded. It was flooded with ankle deep water, but I took a shower anyways in there. You know, I don't quite uh, know what that means. Now, the next scene, and this is awesome. I've never heard trumpets in my dreams before ever. Okay, so the next scene, I'm outside on a patio somewhere overlooking like a, a beautiful uh, hilly kind of like pasture, very green, very beautiful. It's at nighttime. You know, the sky looks kind of weird. And all of a sudden, I hear like it's uh, kind of like a high pitched uh, trumpet, not quite high pitched, in between a regular sounding trumpet and a high pitched sounding trumpet. And I hear trumpets. And at first, you know, I, I'm looking around going, what, what is that noise? What? And then all of a sudden it hits me. I'm like, oh, this is it. This is it. We're leaving. This is it. This is it. You know, and I get so excited. But in the same way, I get a little scared too, which was a little weird, you know, kind of like a nervous feeling. Okay. All right, so um, then it switched to, I woke up, well, I thought I had woken up. Okay, brothers and sisters, as I was sleeping last night, I was laying on my living room floor. Okay, so the next scene after, when I heard the trumpets and got really excited, was me laying on my living room floor, and I thought I had woken up, but I actually hadn't. Okay, so I thought I'd woken up, and my husband was sitting down watching me like sitting right beside me watching me i couldn't open my eyes and i kept tossing and turning like i it was uncomfortable and i felt this and i knew i was actually doing this in the dream you know um you know whenever you know that your body's actually doing something really you know when, when it's in a dream i don't know if i can express that very well so I knew I was tossing and turning in real life, and, and it just was so uncomfortable, And but I couldn't open my eyes. And the whole time he was sitting there watching me. Well, anyways, then that's when I finally woke up, okay? So I get up, and I'm, you know, I'm writing this stuff down so I don't forget it, and, you know, I've been praying about it, and the Lord led me to, um, I'm not, like I said, I don't know what the shower and the ankle deep water means, but uh, the Lord led me to, you know, it wasn't actually my, my, and my, by the way, my husband was not watching me. He was on a game on the computer. He hadn't sat down by me at all. So what the Lord led me to, he just, you know, Holy Spirit led me. And, you know, basically what that was, was that he's trying to tell me that through the trans transformations that we are going through right now, and we are, he is giving us more anointing. He is, he's making us ready to go with him to be with him, okay? He's making us ready. And through that, he has never left our side. Now, he, and what he wants me to kind of share is that even though, you know, sometimes going through this transformation or going through, you know, whatever you're going through, if he's refining you, if he's purifying you, it's uncomfortable at times. It really is. It's very uncomfortable. You know, there's some fear going on because maybe sometimes we don't trust him all the way. But whatever it is that you're going through throughout this, you know, last hour period, he is right there watching you, watching over you. I know for a fact that that's what that last part meant, you know. He is always watching over us, you know, and he's right there by our side, even though sometimes, I mean, for me, a lot of times I don't feel like he's there, you know. I, you know, sometimes I, I do and sometimes I don't. You know, and so, but he is always by our side. 
And, uh, you know, I know he's letting me know that the time is getting closer and closer and closer. You know, I've been praying on some um, revelations for him from him on uh, whether I, you know, I, I, I kind of need to go back to uh, g- get a job. If I do, I don't really know. Uh, you know, so I've been kind of praying on that, Lord, you know, what is your will for me? Should I go back and get a job? Uh, and some other things on, you know, what is your will for me on this and this and, you know, specific things. And I think this dream was, you know, I think it was, and and don't quote me on this because I'm not finished praying about all this, but what I'm feeling is that it was, um, we're almost there. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're almost there. Worry not about tomorrow. Worry not about, you know, whatever you've got going on. Worry not. Put your complete and total trust and faith in him. And we are leaving soon. You know, brothers and sisters, don't put your faith in anyone else. No matter how much they may seem like they know God. And I'm not saying a lot of people out there on YouTube are of the Holy Spirit. But there are a lot that aren't. You know, learn to trust in in, in your Holy Spirit that's within you. Because he will tell you if something's not right with a specific person, he'll let you know. You know, sometimes you got to come to him in prayer and ask first, or sometimes he just says, oh, no, no, something ain't right with this person, you know, on his own. But trust in that, you know, go to him for all confirmation, you know, because he is faithful and good and he will, you know, help you get through these last final moments, you know. Okay, brothers and sisters. Oh, also, yes, he led me to, well, he not led me to, he spoke it within my spirit. Zechariah 2.10, today before I lay down to take a nap. So, which says, sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for see, I come and I dwell in the middle of you, said the Lord. So, yeah, I just, he's, he's so awesome, brothers and sisters. And he just wants you to reach out to him. That's all he wants. He just wants you more than you could possibly even imagine. You know, imagine how much you love him, how much you want him. Huh, that's nothing to what he feel, feels, you know? That's nothing. Oh. Okay, brothers and sisters, I love you all so very much. And if you have any insight on any of the dream, um, you know, that'd be great. Any scripture, anything like that, that'd be great. I uh, hope you could understand it. Sorry, sometimes I have a hard time expressing myself. I can't quite figure out the words I want to say. So I uh, hope you understood some of that. Okay, brothers and sisters, I love you all so very much. Keep your heads up and keep your eyes only on him only. I love you all. Shalom.